Hey, you know, have you ever been to Puerto Rico? It's a beautiful island and the most wonderful people. I spent a couple days there at a lean conference speaking and I absolutely loved it. But in the morning on Saturday, I met Carlos and his beautiful wife, Rosalie, at the Coco Bar. And this is a great coffee shop. Early in the morning we met so I could go over all my computer processes and teach Carlo and Rosalie how I do it. And look at this coffee. Isn't it fantastic? It's beautiful. It's Welcome beautiful. to Puerto Rico. Uh, Great, Carlos? Yes, it's great. Yeah, Rosalie, what do you think? Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? And we're learning about computers today. Have a great day because we're making cool videos. So one of the first things I did was I taught Carlos how not to make a video. Whenever you're making a video, you don't want to jerk your camera around. You want it to be smooth like the first clip you saw. So never do this because you'll drive your people crazy and they'll never watch Welcome your video. Welcome to the Choco Bar. The Choco Bar is a restaurant featuring the history of Cortez chocolate, which has been making chocolate from bean to bar for almost 90 years in Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. And it's where two passions meet, art and chocolate. And there's art right there, right? Yes, this is the beginning of, uh, of the promotional uh, advertising of the company which brought these little books from Spain in the 1950s and they would be like the surprise inside the chocolate bar, like Cracker Jack. Right. But instead of, instead of a toy, it would bring a book and at that time, Puerto Rico was very poor, so a lot of little towns in the country didn't have books or schools. So for many people here in the country, these little books were vehicles to educate themselves and read and learn how to read. Awesome. So, and the cool thing about the story you told me, Elaine, was that your ancestors on your husband's side, they loved art and they came from Spain and they came here and discovered cocoa in the Dominican Republic and then made the production of cocoa happen in Puerto Rico because they were paid off with a debt with a cocoa machine or a yes. chocolate machine. Yes. How innovative is that? Elaine, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Chocolate molds from the 1940s and 50s. No way. Yeah. There they are, and they say your name on it, right? Right. Uh, well, it's the traditional hot chocolate bar. And I'm going to show you something else. I'll bet you are. So, this is our foundation where it's part of our mission art and chocolate. And like us, there are other many other people um, sharing their culture in San Juan and in different parts of the island. So, come to Puerto Rico and discover us again. You must come immediately because it is amazing here and Elaine is awesome and her restaurant is great.